Deep inside the jungle, far from anywhere, there's a place that no one knows, but Stu will take you there. It's Jolly Jungle, Jolly Jungle, Jolly Jungle. Hey everybody, my name is Stu and this is Jolly Jungle for Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic. If you don't know what that was, don't worry about it. Deep in the jungle lies a large area of land ready to be turned into a theme park. Your objective to have at least 1,600 guests in your park at the end of October year 4 for park rating of at least 600. So quite a long goal then, four years, uh, quite a high target as well. Yeah, I remember this one. This one was a lot of fun the first time I played it through. So we've got quite a large map. Um, let's turn scenery off just to make it easier to see. Um, the terrain is quite tricky because there's a lot of hills and things like that so um but i do remember the first time we played it, or the only time we've played it through before now we did we came down here and i know i did have a, a wooden coaster in the middle there and i recall having a side friction coaster up on that hill there anyway let's go through the basics parks closed at the moment so we're gonna have to remember to open we've got free entry so we're going to be charging for the rides we've got a train we've got a few gentle rides and some water rides so you know we do have water that could be handy um a few coasters to begin with oh splash boats um We've seen those and not a great selection of shops, but good enough to begin with. So I think what we'll do, because it's quite a long goal and we've all we've got enough in the way of shops to get on with. You know, we've got food, we've got drink, we've got enough variety. So we're not at in danger of getting worse food award. We've got a kiosk, we've got toilets. So I think we'll start off researching thrill rides because those are pretty much the quickest rides to put down that are going to give us sort of the best bang for our buck for for time wise um i'm going to start off in this area here build out a, like a path loop maybe around this this little thing by here, this sort of dent what do you call it a little valley there um and then um uh, maybe we could fill it in with water that'd be cool and then we could put some water rides i don't know but uh, we'll do that and then we'll start branching down here um i do like the idea of of the side friction coaster up there it won't be the same as i did before i can't even remember how i did it before um i'll probably do two of them i think i did that before but you know it's because the reason why is because it's a good idea you know it's not it's it's a you know it's a it's a smart thing to do so um and then that leaves us i'm not going to do the same thing over here um but yeah i'm going to crack on with this and hopefully when we come back i'll have a, a better plan in mind october year one almost 500 guests in the park so we're one year down three to go and we're more than a quarter of the way to the target so that's cool let's have a look at the start then so as i said i fill that little area in with water got a bridge over there. there's a lot of six I'll, I'll put down some more handyman got some um shops and stalls and seating areas just around there a couple of pirate ships we got a water right there called the piranha crews and then we've got oh i haven't named them and then we haven't renamed that i will do um and then coming over here then, as I said, we've got the twin side friction coasters. I've got a break just underground down there. One of them did crash in testing. Oh, and it looks like one's broken down as well. So, yeah, if it crashes in testing, don't worry about it. It's fine. It's only when it's open and it crashes. That's that's the problem. Um, yes, yeah, so it was going slightly too fast. Um, there's a little raised bit, but there. it was going slightly too fast on that. But it's fine. Let's have a look. So we got orangutan one and two just there. So that's pretty cool. Good stats on that. Only charging a five up. We could probably get away with charging ten whilst it's new. But you know what? I'll keep it at I'll keep it at, at five. It's fine. Um some of the guests are struggling for cash at the moment, so we do want them to stay in the park you know what i always say um a guest in the park is worth two in the bush or something um so we've got lots of little spaces to put rides in but they are kind of awkward so i don't know 
how I'm going to progress with that. Um, I've been building down here, got some nice little bridges down here, another path loop, toilets and kiosks on major corners and junctions and things like that. I'm thinking of going up here as well. Let's turn scenery off so we can see the ground and the palms a bit better. Um, so I'm thinking of coming off up here and then maybe having another path and a bridge down to this side here and then having a, a path all the way around the outside and then back linking up to here. Um, I don't know if I'm... Let me do like some sort of graphic on screen to give you a sort of an, an indication of what I'm what I'm on about because otherwise I'm just I'm just talking randomly um, because what I want to do is if I can get the path loops done by the end of let's say year three then I've got a year solid that I can just focus on building rides um, so yeah that's basically the plan all of the rides are now researched so now I'm researching roller coasters um, so I've got plenty of rides let's have a look at them plenty of rides that I can put down and then I can also start doing roller coasters as well as and when I've got a space and, and I think something will fit quite nicely. Benefiting from that sweet umbrella cash as well. Um, we are quite far in debt, 18,000. I don't know what the maximum is. What is it? Oh, wow, that's loads. Yeah, so this year now, we'll start putting down a few more thrill rides and a few more coasters and we'll be fine. The money is going to roll in. October year two, 981 guests in the park. We need 1,600, so we're well on target to do that. Let's have a quick hide of the scenery just so I can show you the paths that we've put down. So we've got the path loop going around the outside and another one there, and then the path coming down, joining up to the back over here. So that's pretty cool. Let's uh, put that back on. So the path... Um, comes up here. We've got a top spin just down there called Dart Frog. Um, we've got Jungle Mansion. We've renamed them. Look, Jungle Pirates. Yeah, law. Cool. And then over here, then joining the orangutans, we've got Tamarin. So you like one of those little monkeys. Good stats on that. Charging ten pound a go. I think it's pretty cool. And then we've got a 3D canopy, canopy climber. So, yeah, like it's like a little 3D uh, movie, pretending you're climbing up a tree, looking out over the canopy. I don't know. Kind of like, uh, what, uh, what's his name in The Hobbit? Bilbo. That's him. Um, and then what have we got? We've got the drop tower just here called Harpy Eagle. Yeah, be careful if, you want, if you're Googling them. They they kind of like swoop down and, and, and grab monkeys. It's uh, horrific. Um, yeah, and then we got chimpanzee just over here. So it's pretty cool. Let's have a look at the stats on the Virginia reel. Nice. Yeah, so it just comes down and around and about a bit and and then back up. Yeah, and then across here, then we've got, oh, there you go. We've got a flying coaster. So let's have a look. No, that's Evelyn. Um, Evelyn, Evelyn. Kalugos, which is... I did, I did find it. Um, my research is basically Googling jungle animals. And some of these will be like jungles in South America. Some of these will be like jungles in Africa or whatever, you know. So there's no sort of hard and fast rule. It's just whatever I think is cool. Um, yeah, so decent stats on that. It comes out, drops down and up the chain left. Then goes into like a half roll and into like a dive loop, and then we got a loop. So this was a bit of a of a pain to get working because every time I I tried to get the loop, it wasn't quite high enough. Um, but in the end, it it we got we I extended it further and further until it worked, and and yeah, it works. Uh, I think it's worked out quite well, and I've babbled on long enough that that we can see it in action. So it drops down, got the loop up over there. And then we got a little corkscrew and then a brake run and back to the station. I think it's pretty cool. And then we're down here then and we've got a wild mouse called Spider Monkey. Decent stats on that. So one thing I like to do when possible with these little wild mouses is because um, is it wild mice? I, I'd never know. Is it wild mice or wild mouse? So um, obviously we got a wooden wild mouse over here and then we've got a Virginia which is basically a wild mouse. Um, and then we've got 
this wild mouse. So the main difference with this one is that they've got the the downward curve drops, like like this one is going down now, and then we've got some upward ones. So I do kind of like to add them when I can because it's uh, it's just a bit bit more interesting. Um, so we've got that, and then we come down. We've got a little bridge, and we've got the power loop again. Toilets, kiosks on corners, major junctions, etc., etc. We've got a spiral slide just there. Almost a thousand guests. We're doing really well. We're doing really well. We're still researching roller coasters. So we've got loads, loads of uh, of good ones to choose from, and a gig coaster coming out as well. Now, that'd be handy. Um, yeah. So even though I did start off with the side friction over there, I think we're already. I mean, I haven't seen that video probably since. I edited it, but um, there's no way this is anywhere near the same over here. So that's pretty cool. I remember one thing I did do on that one is I built a train with four stations, and that was a pain. And I was definitely a mistake I made on one of the stations and it was with the exit, and I ended up trapping guests. So I won't be doing that again. October year three, 1,227 guests in the park. So only a few hundred to go then. And the major changes are over in this area here. So as you can see, we've gone a little bit overboard on the splashboards, if you uh, pardon the pun. So let's have a look then. It's called Amazonia. 9.25 is pretty good. And as you can see, four stations. Um, so yeah, if I had a pound for every every four station splash boats I've made during this this current series, um, I'd have two pounds, which isn't a lot, but it's a bit weird that it's happened twice in a row. So originally I just wanted it to come out and drop down and, and I was going to try and work a way back. But then after it drops down, you've got this little section here because we discovered caves in, in, the, in the jungle lore low we discovered caves and then it comes back down i thought you know what rather than going back up it would be a good place to add another station and if we're going to do that we might as well go the whole way so the second station is just there and then it comes round, and then up and then drops down via another cave system that we discovered and then we got the other the third station just there and then it comes back up here drops down and then we got the fourth station just there and it comes out down into another cave system. And um, there's a lot of cave systems around here, isn't there? And then um, and then and then back to the, the original one, the first one. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then we've got a, a truck ride just for you. This one's called Jungle Junction. So in case you didn't know that I did that weird thing at the start of the video, Jungle Junction was a name for cartoon on was there is i think it was originally called playhouse disney and then they changed it to disney junior um so that's the disney channel aimed at sort of uh toddler onwards up to sort of yeah i don't know before teens and um so yeah my kids used to watch that a lot um and so some of the cartoons on it were actually pretty good you know i i I like to think that I grew up during the golden age of cartoon theme tunes, but um, do you know some of those? Some of those theme tunes, Jungle Junction, Handy Manny, um, absolute bangers. Um, yeah. So what else have we got then? We did see a gig coaster, didn't we? Just over here. So this one's called Anaconda. Good stats on that. So we got a couple of little boost tiles out there. Boosts out. I said it boosts out. Anytime now. And there you go. Boosts out through the loop in the flying coaster. Is it a flying coaster? I said it was a flying coaster. A lay down coaster. There you go. And then back around through the corkscrew. And then back to the station. Yeah. Haven't really seen any interactions with them. And by that, I mean it going through the loop as the lay down coaster goes through it. or the same with the corkscrew. Haven't seen any, but that doesn't mean it's not going to happen. We live and hope maybe in the outro it'll happen. 
Um, I'm probably not going to try and make it happen. Not going to try and wait around for it to happen. If it happens, it happens. Great. If not, oh well. And then we've got just over here, we've got Jungle Jumper Launch Tower and Sim Ride Amazon Aviators. It's like a plane in the Amazon. Lots of sick around the place. So I will spam a load of handymen and some more mechanics as well. And since I've got so many, I might as well put down a security guard and an entertainer as well. I haven't looked up how many I need for best staff award for 1,600 guests. Um, if it happens, it happens. But um, yeah, so I think we're doing all right. Um, what are we researching? We're now researching shops. So we'll put them down as and when they unlock. And then, so I'm just going to carry on with coasters. Um, Let's have a look what we've got. I would like a wooden coaster and probably go on them and probably the mine train coaster. So I'm thinking the wooden coaster will be good on the on the back. And I've kind of blocked my way in. And we're gonna have to come diagonally over the splash ports, which isn't ideal, but I didn't think this through, obviously. And I think the mine train coaster would be cool in the middle here. Maybe have it sort of, don't aim for anything extreme. Have it like as a kiddies sort of ride. And maybe, who knows, maybe we'll find some more cave sections, some more cave systems. October year four, 1,791 guests. We needed 1,600. So we are going to smash the goal completely. So let's have a look then. At the start of the year, um, we had, if you look where April is, we had a bit of a, a blip. It kind of went up and then it dropped. We were, we were losing guests. Well, that that could have been as a result of some um, some awards falling off. So we lost the buff that the awards give us. I'm not sure. But regardless, what I did was I went around and I just made all the flat rides free. I reduced all the courses down to £5 and I reduced the splash boats down to we had it running at um 10 pound a go I, I should have shown you the profits actually they were they were huge but um also speaking of money we we paid the loan off as well we were making loads let's have a look see how far back it goes there you go so last year if you look at that 14 000, 12, that's with the, the splash boats and some of the other coasters being 10 pound a go um the lay down coaster where is it over here, now. yeah. Lay down course because it's got the four wide cars, so you can fit. Um, let's have a look how many you can fit uh, six cars times four, so 24 per car. Um, so yeah, because it's got the four wide, we're making massive cash off that. Um, so we paid back the loan, and then the most important thing then is getting the guest number. So I reduced, as I said, reduced the prices down. So things like this as well that's a pound, and then we've got. There you go. That's free. That's free. All the flat rides. I, I did show you. I think it was on the last video. And I showed you the graphic of the... I showed you the, the this chart on here of the, the profit for that. And um, what I said was, when, you're, when you've got about 90% of your money coming in from roller coasters, you might as well just make all the other rides free. And I actually worked it out whilst I was editing and it was about it was actually ninety seven percent of the money was coming in from the roller coasters. So once it's like that, you know, just make the rest of the rides free. Unless you're in a, a scenario where you don't need the guest goal. If you don't need the guest goal then it doesn't really matter, does it? But um yeah, what else have we done then? So we've kind of seen the wooden coaster. It's just up here. See if you can guess the name of it a bit too much brown but you know it's called silverback i've spoiled it there you go so that, i think the black is too is there's too much black in that that's why we've gone for the brown supports yeah so let's have a look at the stats then decent stats loads are sick we don't want that do we let's get another handyman down we've now got there you go we've got 23 now 10 mechanics one each of those um yeah, so it, it, let's have a look. It drops down, comes down, and then it goes up a diagonal chain lift over the splash boards, sort of kind of quite far away from the rest of the parks. We don't want the... I know it's not real. I know it's a pretend 
world in a game, but I do kind of like to imagine you're one of the guests and you're looking around and, you know, sight lines and all that sort of thing. And then it drops down and then you go all the twists and turns and turnarounds and stuff like that over there and then it comes back up. And again, haven't quite had the interaction I was hoping would happen where you've got the, the, the two at the same time, but who knows, maybe at some point it will. Um, yeah, so that's that done. Been around doing loads of fences and stuff. And then we've got this this weird little fella just down by here called Mandrill Minor. So I wasn't actually sure what a Mandrill was, but I, I, I thought of it because, um, is it Chessington has done a, a new ride called Mandrill Mayhem? So it turns out it's, the Mandrill is that, that weird like monkey or ape or something where it's got like that weird blue blue and red face. Um, yeah, so it's quite slow. Um, but that's sort of deliberate. It's meant to be a family ride, although it is probably a little bit too intense. But um, yeah, so funny thing is, now normally when you have seen me building, you know I normally start with the stations. But with the wooden... I'm lost. I don't even know where I am. I'm lost. So with the... Zoom out. There you go. This isn't helping the, the YouTube compression algorithm at all. So with the... This one, the wooden coaster, I actually started out with this bend there because I needed to get the right height for the chain lift so it goes over the splash boards. And then once I'd done that drop, then I went back and did the station. And then with the, the mine train coaster, I actually started off again with the bend. You can't see it just there underneath well, there wasn't a bridge there at the time because i wanted it i wanted the chain lift to run and it's all oh, what a shower oh, it's broken down there you go so it would be nice if there was a boat actually coming down that drop at the same time it's isn't it amazing how many times things break down as and when i'm trying to describe why i did it because it would look cool if things worked the way i'm trying to show you so if imagine that the the train was coming up as a boat is coming down again i know it's not real it's an imaginary world in a game but imagine you're one of the guests on our splash boat or you're on the train and you're sort of you're going past each other anyway nope nearly pressed the wrong button my finger was on r then stool okay well done yeah, we've done that. We've now got access to the car group. Okay, cool. Yeah. So that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. And I do have a few spaces left. Um, but I'm not going to carry on. At least not anytime soon. So we've still got this little gap over here. Um, we did unlock, if you're noticing about the fences, we did unlock. No. We did unlock the dinosaur theme end. Um, so that accesses those fences there. And there's a space just up here as well. So maybe we'll add a train at some point. That'd be cool. And we can have a quick revisit of the park. Um, but yeah, this was this was quite fun. I, I enjoyed playing this through. I think next up, um, we're at, we're at the end of October now. So we've got Halloween next. So I'm thinking... Let's have a look for a Halloween themed or a scary themed scenario. Um, I think Radrian's done one that I haven't played. And we can do that as like a Halloween special. But if you're just watching this playthrough, this playlist, you won't see that. It'll be the next one will be um, back to normal. So, yeah. So this was Jolly Junction. I've been Stu. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.